Sabretooth, Victor Creed, has a mutation that makes him ridiculously strong, fast, agile, super senses, and all that stuff and etc. But did you know, from time to time, he's used assault rifles. Yeah, I know it's hard to imagine Sabretooth using a sniper rifle. Dual pistols and even machine guns. Speaks French, speaks Russian, speaks German, does actually speak some Spanish. Surprisingly, he's actually pretty good at forensics. Part of it thanks to his acute senses and taste and all that good stuff put together. He's like a predator type character. He's not afraid to set up traps. Sneaks up stealthily on some ninjas. Stalking Spider-Man from the shadows. Follows Gambit for days without him noticing. Multiple days. Avoids Wolverine senses. Covered his scent completely. No problem fighting in the dark. This is like the senses little Bible right here. Confirm that Sabretooth's senses are as good as Wolverine's. Sabretooth. It's one of those characters born a while ago that had a rough upbringing. Back in the day, when his mutation started springing, he accidentally killed his brother, supposedly playing around for a piece of pie. Parents locked him away because they thought he was the devil. They even say Satan teased he's gonna pull him out until he gets unlike possessed or whatever. His own parents chained him up like an animal because they were scared of him. They figured, what else could it be if he's not like the devil back in these old days? I mean, what else was they supposed to believe? Years later, he started living on his own, doing his own thing. We know he's a mutant. We know he has super strength and his healing factor is one of the things he specializes in. Him and Wolverine have like this rivalry. They can't stand each other. Even going as far as saying, you hit me as hard as you can and you only hurt yourself. When it comes to Sabretooth, you can get more lore on his information about what he can do here. Regenerative ability, superhuman acute senses, sight, hearing, smell, taste. More information about him here. You can read his power grid here, accelerated healing, acute senses, indestructible adamantium skeleton and claws. Yeah, he got upgrades over the years too when it comes to the evolution of his bones. Similar to Wolverine. He started off with bone type claws, but then, you know, how upgrades go in comic books. Gotta respect the evolution, make him stronger. And by the way, subject Victor Creed, when he finally does get adamantium to kind of be up there with Wolverine, he does this while he's freaking awake, which is ridiculously painful. And before I even go farther in this same vid, you guys probably already know him and Wolverine have like this little special rivalry. You've seen it in the movies. You've seen it in interactions when it comes to video games. This video is going to be no exception to this. Sabretooth is no stranger with or without these adamantium claws. A consistent match for Wolverine. But when he does get his own adamantium in his skeleton, increases everything about him and strength, which I'm going to talk about later on. Fighting Wolverine for days on end, hours on end, through a big explosion, continuing fighting after the big explosions, healing, the healing factors, until they even had to be split up. But I'm gonna show that stuff later on, but respect them. When it comes to Sabretooth, he's strong enough to break through a force field that can supposedly hold back a mad gr full grown elephant because you can't disrespect Sabretooth's strength. Beings that are in the powerhouse tier describe his muscles like steel cable. Even saying a simple nerve pinch won't do any good. She ends up KOing him, but she says he could rip her to shreds. It's, what the and he's trying off to shatter these metal hand restraints i'm gonna try to go over Sabretooth without adamantium then i'm gonna go over him with adamantium on one can say weapon x Sabretooth. you can tell he's strong based on the size of him versus everybody else lifting this metal door with one arm snapping rope restraints lifts the car with his off hand and this occasion with miss marvel rips all this apart with his bare strength swing it at her not even rock and iron type content can hold him he even says not even steel could hold me so what you think rock's gonna do breaking out because he's just freaking strong imagine him in a world's strongest powerlifting contest he lifts up barbells and crushes it in his, with his strength he's gotten in plenty of battle feats over the years like with beings like luke cage knocking him down here can obliterate tree in this scuffle with spider-man battle feet breaks pillar with his striking power no surprise he has a lot of battle feats with x-men type characters swinging rogue around through a tree metal consoles get destroyed kicking power can crumble metal doors metal pipes all kinds of metal, metal doors, metal pipes, he breaks through. Swinging something that Ms. Marvel stated to weigh at least half a ton. Ridiculous leg power, like being able to stand the pressure of a falls like this, landing on police cars and warping them, then curb stomping the police officer. Battle feet with Omega Red, punching him through some stone. And of course, he's had battle feats with characters like Beast, one of the X-Men type characters. It's no surprise that he could strike this hard and do this to the freaking wall, as you can see in that angle and as you can see like that. It's a lot of things that people overlook is when during the battle feed, you can kind of look at the collateral to see how strong a character is, like slamming this being's head against the wall to see what the wall looks like after the slam. Same battle feed with Iron Fist slamming his head to the wall like that, striking him into the concrete a billion times fighting Wolverine, hitting him so hard with striking power, hit him flying into the air. He's one of those, I like to tear through stuff type characters. Like he already has a lot of blunt force punching power, then he can just claw his way to cut through you like tearing apart metal tentacles but even without necessarily using his claws still has the power to tear through stuff tearing off a large robot's head even tearing a chunk of concrete out of the ceiling of a sewer his grip strength alone can just crack metal 
even been the barrel of a rifle with his raw strength. One of the most impressive things about the supposed quote unquote street tiers in Marvel, even though they're not street tiers, they're more likely super soldier or above tiers, is that they have ridiculous reflexes consistently portrayed to be in those microseconds. You can watch my Captain America video, Daredevil video, Black Panther video, Hawkeye video of proof of the microsecond reaction time stuff, one millionth of a second type reaction type stuff. Sabretooth is no exception when it comes to stuff like this, showing his blitzing ability. Iron Fist, somebody that's way past the super soldier ranges, especially if you add in the Iron Fist punch where he can blow away cities and stuff he even says Sabretooth is as fast as him lands blows on mystique lands a bunch of blows on characters like iron fist completely speed blitzes several ages before they can even shoot you can even see the right intent guns him and zoop and he's right there and punisher please stop trying to shoot him with bullets it ain't gonna cut it dodging all that even beings like wolf's bane that try to blitz him they get sliced before they can see what's coming it's hard to believe but ridiculously fast super soldier tier characters like daredevil can't really avoid him even instead he's moving he's quick this is coming from the same Daredevil that can react to things in one millionth of a second, aka a microsecond. And Daredevil complements his speed. Not to mention another battle with Wolverine, obviously, but they also talk about his speed as well. They talk about how he moves as a blur. Both men move in a blur almost faster than my mind can follow. That's what Psylocke is saying. Psylocke is having a problem following their minds because they're moving so fast. This makes sense with the feats that Disabled 2 has been shown when it comes to speed. Not to mention that Wolverine has ridiculous reflexes, at least a, a slightly above the Super Soldier ranges, if you want to say. And being on the land blows on Spider-Man is pretty cool considering that he one could say has future sight with spider sense letting him know he, when he's about to be in danger or attack or surprise attacks he still can tag him it's even narrated that he got a blow landed on misty night before she was even aware of it not even energy blasts are safe one could say lasers he can dodge he can catch your swung rifle he's just really hard to hit even when polaris drops a big stuff on him he's still hard to hit he dodges blasts from characters like bishop an energy absorber part of all this is thanks to his supernatural nature of being able to jump high aka agility one could say doesn't skip legs day we've seen him scale metal walls he's even withstood chi enhanced punches without completely getting obliterated from iron fist hits from x-men like beast you know a saber tooth and a panther archetypes got a fight somehow in comments like how saber tooth got in a fight with the man the myth the legend the child black panther himself in a respectable fight even beings that or relatively out of his strength class he took hits from and was able to get back up from it. You guys already know his healing factor. I shouldn't even have to explain or mention feats when it comes to Sabretooth when it comes to being shot. He eats bullets for breakfast. If it wasn't obvious already, he can heal from stabs. I mean, look who his opponent is. He has to be able to heal from stabs to be able to keep on going. Plenty of fights with Wolverine. Even when it comes to flame type of attack, he has no problem healing from stuff like this. It's the same deal with electric type stuff he can heal from. And you ain't going to just poison him and call it a day. Hardly phase them. Even 10 meals a day filled with sedatives ain't going to necessarily cut it. He's got surprisingly good resistance against telepath type beings to where they even hurt themselves going in his mind. Even though in this occasion with Cerebro, she was able to get the W on him though. It takes psionic beings like Psylocke effort to get in his mind, which is impressive because I got a video about her on the channel. So check it out. So you know he got mental resistance. His healing factor is so insane. Somebody has a power, right? To absorb, well, a virus to borrow other people's powers, right? But then he absorbed the power of him and my power takes out the virus, which knocks you right back down to zero. And he's immune to most diseases. Big slashes across the torso by Archangel's wing. That would pretty much be messed up for everybody else. He's good. All this stuff I mentioned so far is him more or less without adamantium. Imagine this guy with adamantium. Let's get it. After getting a procedure similar to Wolverine, it not only gave him adamantium, but it also made him stronger. But don't take my word for it. Look what Wolverine says about him. There's a difference about him this time. Even faster, you would think heavy metal like this would slow him down, but faster, stronger, more durable, better. Super Soldier tier trolls like Deadpool even say, Sabretooth has him outmatched. Even beings like Kitty that can walk through walls have problem phasing thanks to this adamantium enhancement. So one can basically say, and this occasion with X-23 of course, whatever that previous stuff I showed you throughout this video already, this version of Sabretooth is just that version better, stronger, faster, more sharper in every sense of the imagination. Not to mention having stuff that ignores durability now. Just more of the same type of stuff ripping off doors thanks to his new weapon X type cell can lift large pieces of concrete, pull off a metal collar, and of course breaking his chains. Even goes as far as pulling adamantium chains out of the wall. Are you kidding me? This big rooftop air conditioned unit swinging it around, metal bars getting bent. Sabretooth was here. Of course, look at his punching power. More occasions fighting Logan, hitting him with another mother father. Him and Wolverine still having his cl their classic legendary battles, hitting him high in the air. Even breaking Wolverine's bone. Even punching through Iceman's ice. I'm talking about thick. 
ice breaks metal as collateral damage to fighting wolverine same with other battles when it comes to stone wall yeah him and wolverine just be having legendary battles i would say this guy said let me throw an engine at you magneto metal helmets are gone with his strength rips off robots heads on more than one occasion the standard superhuman stuff he could always do but better and this weapon x state he shattered wolverine's claws with his grip because he's that strong right about now speed is still crazy even spider family type characters have a hard time keeping up with him even x-23 disarming guys before they can shoot blah 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 freaking blah bro super soldier tier character consistently able to catch real rpgs and stuff and react to bullets and stuff it just makes sense at this point when it comes to powerhouse tiers like Show Hulk, for example, he got punched up thanks to his healing factor, he was able to get back up. And I'm literally not about to go over every single time of him eating bullets over and over again in this new state. It's the same as the other state. This guy, Sabretooth, literally ate one of Gambit's exploding cards. That would have been lethal for anybody else, but he was able to get up because of his healing. Like, I know he can heal from this stuff, but this stuff's gotta hurt, though. Like a full power blast from Storm. Large explosions like this he shrugs off robots self-destructing in his face Sabretooth doesn't give a crap iron man helmet exploding he don't care y'all know y'all can't stand each other when y'all fighting through an explosion and y'all continue fighting like the explosion didn't just happen right in front of y'all faces getting shot up grenade launches ain't gonna cut it either against deadpool and why would you even try to use tranquilizer darts on somebody like this wasting your time strong cyanic beings like emma frost can't read his mind it takes the combined cyanic ability of gene gray and emma to shut this guy's mouth it's because of his indomitable will he can heal from having his nerves literally ripped out my dude even when holes are blasted through him he can still heal that's where the hole was Sabretooth is an interesting spot in the power hierarchy of marvel when it comes to the power hierarchy when it comes to physical strength in marvel you know you got the super soldier tier i would say wolverine slightly above him and just raw physical strength and i would say whether or not it be adamantium or not he's decent amount above wolverine physically but wolverine got them overpowered claws so the strength kind of becomes irrelevant at this point then you got the spider-man tiers which i say is a good chunk above him so i would say Sabretooth is like below spider-man or vampire tiers like blade a little bit above wolverine if that makes sense and then none of these people are on the thor level <laughs> you get what i'm saying but here's the thing about adamantium wolverine may not be nowhere near the level of strength of thor but if wolverine was to come up and pull up on thor and stab him it would actually pierce his skin regardless of thor's ridiculous durability to survive planet shattering galaxy shattering levels of force it doesn't really matter this kind of technically applies for saber too so it kind of means he can kind of fight any tier because any tier can be harmed by him if he's able to get close to him if that makes sense does that make sense to you obviously characters would have have trouble with characters like Magneto or Doctor Doom who are also in the powerhouse tier but they have a ridiculously long range attacks where they wouldn't even matter you can't really get close to them one could say the same thing applies for Thor he has ridiculous long range attacks too that can end the fight quickly so where Sabretooth couldn't even get close to him it's just the fact that these beings Wolverine if they can get close enough Sabretooth as well could technically harm him if Thor was just standing still and said try to cut my skin he would actually be able to do it it just kind of shows the nature of how these claws can ignore durability this technically doesn't make sense, but when it comes to overpowered metals like vibranium and adamantium, comics have made this little reoccurring theme that if they have the right tools or metal, even if they don't have the striking power, they can somehow pierce beings that can withstand black hole, universe destructing power because of claws and metal. Characters like Black Knight and Moon Knight are characters in the past that have been shown to be able to harm top tiers, even though they, their punching power is nowhere near the planet busting levels, if that makes sense other than amps when he got amped up by Kanshu and stuff i'm not that kind of, i'm talking about his base normal states you know you get the idea so this technically applies for saber tooth with these adamantium claws even though he has nowhere near the level of strength of the hulk thor super crazy powerhouse tears he can still harm them so it's almost like the strength he does lack kind of doesn't matter anymore because he can still strike them and hurt him anyway not to mention he can extend them kind of like in and out like wolverine does they can sink into concrete or simply tear a big hole through a concrete wall i mean technically without adamantium he can shred through mech suits but with adamantium it's on another level like being able to tear through ultron thor's armor and titanium is nothing compared to adamantium he can just shred him up with these new claws like even if you have a steel body can put his arm through you what i tell you about his strength pretty much being irrelevant he can now harm beings like wendigo even cut rogue cut beings like luke cage somebody that's normally not able to be cut actually able to harm hulk level beings eyes with his claws now can cut sasquatch juggernaut's helmet something that's extremely hard to break thanks to his new claws he can do that we ain't gonna act like he ain't just bite through or bite in the wendigo's neck 
But guys, that's just about going to do it. Respect Sabretooth. Did you know Sabretooth was this strong? When it comes to his strength, I would say he's above Captain America and even slightly above Wolverine. Wouldn't necessarily say he's in the Spider-Man ranges, but when you have claws that can damage Thor, Hulk level beings, does your strength even matter anymore at that point? Because it's like your claws kind of ignore durability and you can harm beings that have the durability or density of entire planets, galaxies, and etc. If you're allowed to get close, you can technically harm them. You know what I mean? But that could be just me. Respect Sabretooth's power. How strong do you think he is though? How fast do you think he is? Do you think he's underrated? I want to hear you guys' thoughts below.